Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3, part 52. And back into our Ferrari for one last race in this fucking thing. It's the Class A World Championship finale. Oh boy. We're going to the big one. So, another uh, new addition to the Forza franchise with this game. It is the Circuit de la Sarth. Yep. We're going here. We're doing two laps. Around the Sarth, it's Le Mans time. In A class, but yeah. So here we go. Hopefully, my car has enough straight line speed. It probably does. Oh, excuse me. I, I, I think uh, I think my Ferrari will be fine here. So. Le Mans hype. Maybe. It's probably going to take a while to load since, you know, it's loading an eight mile fucking. Okay, never mind. There it goes. There it goes. So here's the starting grid for the last race. Let's fucking go. To Le Sarth. Alright. Uh, that's right, and also the grid positions on this track are very fucking tight, like close to each other, so, uh, this is a very tight grid. A very, very tight grid. Look at fucking Mr. Weber here with his, uh, Audi R8 four-wheel drive launch. What a, what a badass. And I somehow get the lead. Okay. Go me. Now, let's see how rust I am at this track, since I haven't Oops, okay, lots of contact, and also ripped frame rate when I look behind. Oh, Weber's got the early advantage in second place, holy shit. What's this? Look how rough, but Porsche is in this game, fucker. Okay, here we go. Which car will have the advantage down the fucking streets? We're about to find out. <clears throat> Hopefully it's mine. So far, it's looking good. We is looking good here. No idea where the breaking point is here, so I'm just going to uh, take it easy. Yeah, this was released before EA got the Porsche license. This is actually the last Forza game before EA got the Porsche license. It's my opinion on beer. I don't drink it, or any alcohol for that matter, so I have no opinion. That's my opinion. My opinion is that I don't have one. Into the second chicane, so I'm not... I'm surprisingly, uh... I have a surprisingly little amount of rust at this track. Since, you know, I haven't been here since GT6. I am quite surprised the hell well I'm doing, I'm not gonna lie. Do I listen to rap? Nope. Well, that's a lie. The only rap I listen to is, like, Fort Minor and the occasional Eminem. But very rarely do I ever actually listen to them. Now, you didn't have the exclusive license back then, K-Boys. Definitely not 2000. Oh god. Now I'm not paying attention to the game. Which is a bad idea. Alright, into Indianapolis for the first time in Forza. Nice and easy. And then Arnage. Much better through Arnage than I ever did in GT6. 
That's for damn sure. So I'm kind of dominating this race. Also, Davis has made it back up to uh, second place. Cool. And Porsche comes back, we'll never see Ruff again. I don't know, man. Polyphony had uh, the ability to use Porsche in their games and never did. Probably because Ruff license was cheaper. Although they'll probably have Porsches in GT Sport. Oh, fuck. I screwed up the last Porsche curve. Speaking of Porsche, I screwed up the last Porsche curve. Do I like Formula E? It's pretty cool. I've never actually like watched a Formula E race, but it looks pretty cool. And around the four chicanes. Oh, God. One lap down, one to go. Final lap of the A-Class World Championship. In our third season in this. Oh, I see somebody lost a bumper. From, uh, lap one. Okay. Maximum immersion. For this final lap. I love how he does the shifting animation for paddle shift cars. He just kind of barely mo moves his fingers. Like a couple fingers, that's it. Just barely moves them, you know. We. Love how fucking much the distance gap just closed under braking there. Oh, you killed Terry. Way to go, Q. Killed one of your competitors. Actually, Terry Labonte is really like one of the best drivers in NASCAR 98, which is weird. Of all people. Then again, he did win the 96 championship, so it makes sense. Oh, God. I was way late on the brakes there. I may or may not have fucked up a little bit. Don't mind me. Yeah, it'd be cool to go to a Formula E race. I'm definitely not going to New York for one. I do not want to go to New York ever. That would, sounds like a nightmare for me. So considering I have a bad enough time driving in a fucking, you know, shit town that I live in. Yeah, like, once I thought about it, I'm like, yeah, it actually does make sense that Terry's really good in that game. Because he was really good at that time. I have a very large lead. Oh no, I went too fast. Oh god. Okay, we're good. I'm trying too hard to go fast around here. Help. Okay. Hut Strickland. I think we all chose Hut Strickland. In that game, I'm pretty sure I chose him for my casual playthrough. Oh, okay, okay, what am I doing? Help, help, help!
Okay. How's NASCAR 97 works? NASCAR 98? You know it's released in 97 based off the 97 season because EA likes confusing people. They like marketing their games for the next year. Hey, I won very, very easily. Okay. That was a fucking piece of cake. Delicious piece of cake. Jeez, I won by eight seconds over Davis. All right. So Davis second, Taylor third in the Viper. Weber fell back to fifth. And barely finished fifth, just behind Miller. And there we go, and here's the final point standings for uh, the Class A World Championship. Spears scored two more points at the end, alright. Go, Spears, I guess. So there we go. First trip to Lasarth, hey, we reached level 25. Got more credits, and we got, ooh, a Lamborghini Reventon. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I probably won't be Strickland for the LP, because I'll definitely have a vote. It'll either be Jeff Gordon or Dale Earnhardt, I can already tell you right now. Hey, loads of money, I need that. I need a lot of that. Also, hey, here's my Lamborghini. My new Lamborghini. Here in my garage with my new Lamborghini. Well that thing's mine. You finished season three. Alright, third season complete. Now we qualify for the R3 World Championship, so our first R-Class Championship. Ooh. Heck yeah. So there's our season Here stats, blah blah blah. And now we begin season four. Which we will do in the next we'll get started with in the next segment, so. There's the A class world championship complete, all seven races. So next time on Forza 3, we'll begin season four of the season play mode with the eight cylinder Supreme GT series. So yeah, stay tuned for that.